Yeah, Pop, you taught me a lot of things. And a lot of things I had to learn on my own. Like that time Mr. Rand came to the house to collect on the rent and we was two months behind. Now, I don't remember what year it was, but I remember it was winter. Grandma Ada had just died and you had gotten behind on the rent because you had to help pay for the funeral. Now, I don't know if you know this, Pop, but you were a big man. Everywhere you went, people treated you like a big man. You used to take me to the barbershop with you. You walk in there and fill up the whole place. <laughs> Everybody would stop cussing because Jim Becker had walked in. And I'll just look at you and wonder how you got that big. You know, I wanted to be big like that. I would go to school and try to make myself feel big, but I never could. And I told myself, oh, that's okay. When I get grown, I'm going to be big like that. Walk into the barbershop, have everybody stop and look at me. That day that Mr. Rand came by, it was snowing. You came out on the porch and he started shouting and cussing and threatening to put us out on the street where we belonged. You know, I was waiting for you to tell him to shut up, to get off of our porch. But you just looked at him and promised that you had the money next month. Uh, I, I, Mama came to the door and Mr. Ram kept shouting and cussing and I looked at Mama and she was trying to get me to go back into the house. So I looked at you, and you got smaller. The longer he shouted, the smaller you got. When we went back to the barbershop, nah, you ain't seem so big no more. He was the same size as everybody else. He was just another man in the barbershop. And that's when I told myself, if I ever got that big, I wouldn't let nothing make me small. Then when I met Susan McKnight, I found out that her daddy was the vice president of Gulf Oil. Whoo, that's when I got big. <laughs> That made me a big man. I felt like I was somebody. I felt like I could walk into a barber shop and fill it up the way you did. And then she told that lie on me. And that's when I woke up. That's when I realized I wasn't big on my own. When she told that lie on me, she she made me small. I wanted to do something that said I wasn't just another nigga. That I was Clarence Becker. I wanted to make them remember my name. And I thought about you standing there and getting small and Mr. Rand shouting and Susan McKnight shouting out that lie. And I realized it was my chance to make the Beckers big again. My chance to show what I had learned on my own. I thought you would understand. I thought you'd be proud of me. <laughs>